hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel today in this video we will see the Moore loop test for location of fault in underground cable so here Moore loop test is generally used to detect the odd fault and the short circuit fault and here Moore loop test is the most common and accurate method for locating odd fault and short circuit fault however to perform the Moore loop test it is necessary that the sound cable runs along this faulty cable and this employs this whole system employs the principle of Wheatstone bridge in order to detect the fault location. Now to perform the Moore loop test, this sound cable, this sound cable, and this faulty cable is connected with the sorting jumper here. And the test side end is connected through a pair of resistors. This R1 and R2. This test side end is connected through a pair of resistors along with the voltage source here. Also a null detector or, or we can say a galvanometer is connected between two conductors at the test end and this is our circuit diagram for Moore loop test for odd fault and this is the Moore loop test for short circuit fault here we can see if one of the point of faulty cable is grounded and again this negative terminal battery is also grounded so this is the circuit diagram for odd fault and again if the negative terminal battery and one of the point of faulty cable is sorted then this is the connection for short circuit fault now once the connections are made as shown in the above figure we have to adjust the value of r1 and r2 so that a null detector or galvanometer shows zero reading it means setting the galvanometer to zero reading brings the bridge circuit into balanced conditions now in balanced condition in balanced position of Wheatstone bridge we have here from this circuit diagram so you can write r1 upon r2 here we can write r1 upon r2 equals to here we can see rg and this is sorted with the sorting jumper so rg and ry will be in series right now so rg plus ry upon rx so you can write rg plus ry upon rx now we can add plus 1 in this side and plus 1 in this side so here r1 plus r2 upon r2 equals to rg plus ry plus rx upon rx now if a small r is the resistance of each cable suppose the resistance of this sound cable is r and again the resistance of this faulty cable is r so here this resistance of sound, sound cable is a small r so you can write in place of r you can write here a small r again the resistance of this faulty cable is a small r it means rx plus ry is going to be a small r so rx plus ry will be r and again rg equals to r so it will be 2r here we have the resistance of the sound cable is r again the resistance of this faulty cable is a small r so it will be 2r now putting this in a bow equation so if we put this value in this equation we can write r1 plus r2 upon r2 equals to now in place of rg plus ry plus rx we can write 2 into small r upon rx now here we will see the value of rx so rx will be r2 upon r1 plus r2 into 2r now <coughs> we know that the value of resistance is proportional to the length of cable we know r equals to rho l by a so here the value of resistance is proportional to the length of cable therefore the value of rx now this rx will be proportional to the length of to the length lx so lx equals to r2 upon r1 plus r2 into 2l now in place of a small r we will write capital l here Lx is the distance of halt from the test end and here this capital L is the total length of cable under test. So this was all for Moore loop test for the location of halt in underground cables. Now we will see few numericals based on Moore loop test. Now here a Moore loop test is conducted on 400 meter long fault cable at balanced condition resistance connected to the faulty core was set to 40 ohm and the resistance of 
resistor connected to the sound core was 60 ohm. What is the distance of fault from the test index? So here a module loop test is conducted on a 400 meter long cable. It means the value of L is 400 meter. This is 400 meter. Now, at balance conditions, resistance connected to the faulty core was set to 40 ohm. Here you can see the resistance set to this faulty core. Here, the resistance R2 is connected to the faulty cable, and the resistance R1 is connected to the sound cable. It means the value of R2 is. 40 ohm here and the value of R1 is 60 ohm here now what is the distance of fault from the test end now here we have the formula here Lx is equals to R2 upon R1 plus R2 into 2L. Now, if we put this value in that formula, we will get the value of Lx. So here, if you put this, if you put this value, you will get the value of Lx. So we will get here Lx equals to 320 meters. Here you can put the value of L, R1 and R2 in this formula in order to get the value of Lx. So here Lx will be 320 meter. Now in our test by Muri loop for ground fault on 500 meter of cable having a resonance of 1.6 ohm per kilometer. So here the resonance of cable is 1.6 ohm per kilometer and the ground fault on 500 meter cable it means here the value of again L is here 500 meter here we have the value of L as 500 meters and the fault cable is looped with the sound cable of same length and cross sections if the ratio of other two arms of testing network at a balance is 3 is to 1 find the distance of fault from the testing end of cables so here we have the ratio given as 3 is to 1. It means the value of R1 upon R2 is 3 is to 1. Now if we add 1 on left side as well as on right side we'll get here plus 1 equals to 3 plus 1 so here the ratio of R1 plus R2 sorry here it will be R2 upon R2 equals to 4. Now, you know the formula or you can write this in this way here. If you write R2 upon R1 R1 plus R2 equals to now it will be 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 and we know Lx is equals to R2 upon R1 
प्लस आर टू इंटू टू एल ना हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू इज वन अपॉन फोर सो हियर इन प्लेस ऑफ दिस आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू का नाइट हियर वन अपॉन फोर इंटू टू इंटू एंड इन प्लेस ऑफ यल हेयर वो हैव फाइव हंड्रेड मीटर सो टू इंटू दिस फाइव हंड्रेड मीटर सो इफ यू सोल्व दिस विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एल एक्स एस टू फिफ्टी मीटर So here we have to calculate the find find the distance of fault from testing in cable. So the distance of fault from testing in cable is 250 meter here. So this was all for today. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed the lectures. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.